So this is Patrick Boggy, the lead programmer for the IGI Thank you, Patrick. Well, we, we mostly thank you for the Yes. Yes. I will try to speak a little bit louder. Loud. Yes. It's being in touch with our body. And in fact, that's what we are looking for with the app. It's not to, to tell you what to do with, when you are using a, a biofeedback app, but help you mainly to help you to intuitively find back how to do. What Dan talked a little bit about Alfmat and what Alfmat is doing and most of the other are doing. They are asking you to breathe on a certain fixed frequency, which is around a physiological frequency. But it's not your own real frequency. So what we would like to do with our app is try to recover feelings that we have lost and all of the children get this feeling and can get access to this feeling. You can feel inside your body very low frequency wave if you are trained to, if, if you agree to recover this feeling. And that's what we would like to do with our app, not to ask you to breathe on a certain fixed frequency and see what's happening, but just help you to recover some feeling you have lost. First, first thing uh, I would like to explain is about waves. So wave is something which is going up and down uh, at a certain frequency. But in fact there are a, a lot of different waves that we are used to think about. Visible waves, also uh, what you, frequency you can hear from your, you can catch from your ears. Temperature, heating. But also we have a very low frequency that we can feel also with our body. Like the snakes feel that you are coming. When you have, there is a big truck that's passing through your, in front of your house, you feel vibrations, very low frequency vibrations. But you can go to very lower frequencies. Can we close that window over there? Yeah, there we go. I will. Sorry, I will show you also that this is, of course, a key frequency. Then explain it's a pressure wave inside the body, but you can also go down to lower frequency, which are related to the the emptiness of the ventricles of the brains. And I will explain more about this this afternoon. Just an example, this is a speaker. Normally, if I send some frequency to the speaker, you should hear something. But it's a very low frequency. You see the, the speaker, which is moving and sending the frequency through the air, but you, you can, your air cannot catch it. So it's very important to understand that there are low frequency we don't feel, we don't catch the this frequency, but uh, can be very important and you, recover, you can recover to these frequencies. This is a very low frequency, which is the earth which is breathing. You see? It's one year. Frequency of one year. And then, it's explained, well, already all these parts, so I, I, will, I will skip about it. But what's important, maybe I can explain it in a different way. See, there are some scale, and each step of the scale is in relationship with phi ratio. And that's what we get in the Schumann waves, uh, Schumann frequencies uh, of the Earth. And in fact, if we take the scale down uh, as mentioned, it's, there are a lot of interesting things. So I placed here in Earth, but also in cycles per minute. Sometimes it's easier to understand. So if you take a frequency of about 7 Earth, between 7 and 8 Earth, which is the, the base of the Schumann frequency, it's interesting because it just 
between alpha and theta brainwave. Let's go down a little bit to the scale, and we get the, bre the briefing of the child, which is faster than, than the adult. You go to the next step, you, you get the briefing of an adult. You get to the, the next step, you have a frequency of sacrocranial wave. And again, to one step below, another frequency of sacrocranial wave. In fact, there are two schools of sacrocranial. And one school will say the rhythm is, nine, uh, is point, uh, uh, 15. The other one will say it's point 0.1. But they are measuring the same thing, just a different step of the scale. But they don't agree about it. Because they, all, all the, the schools say, no, no, I, I'm, good, I'm right, you are wrong. And, uh, but <coughs> if you get the scale down, it's so, they are all right. And if you go again down to the scale, you get the emptiness, the, the, the frequency of the emptiness of the, the ventricle of the brain. And you will, we will see this afternoon that these frequencies are related to what Yogi, the briefing that Yogi are using. Could you say just a little about emptiness of brain ventricles? I found that rich. When yeah. the brain ventricles drain and resonate, is that? Yeah. Right. Normally, when you're quite healthy and not stressed, about, let's say, three times, two times, one times per minute, it depends. The, the ventricles of the brain, that I will show you this afternoon because it's much more related to the, the brain. But, the, the ventricles of the brain, uh, they are, uh, 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 yes, yes, draining, draining, draining down to the spinal cord, and then filling up, and then draining down. And as when Ben talked about, yeah. that's how Kundalini and When this movement uh, doesn't exist, uh, you don't feel very well. How often was that? Arturo had a quick question. Yeah. How, how, what speakers did you use to produce 0.1 hertz? Because, I mean, it's very low frequency. We, we don't use speakers to... Uh, well, what, do you, what do you use? We use a breath training or measure. You, you're, you will induce it on your body, by yourself, by your breath. But let me go step by okay. step. <laughs> <laughs> so, the, just to, to remember that the free, there is a frequency and a wavelength, and it's the opposite. So the, the frequency, the time that uh, for a period of uh, for a period of time, is the number of going up and down, and the wavelength is the size between two two same part of the of the of the wave. And what what already Dan explained you that. Well, that's uh, the DNA. So you see, there is a very long here in white, a very long wavelength, and then a shorter one inside, and then again shorter and shorter and shorter. So to to make the relationship between what's frequency. So the frequency of the white curve here is uh, very low, but the wavelength is very high. And, and then you, you go down and down and see what's it. What's important also is to mention that uh, we have some kind of uh, major lower frequency wave. Uh, each system, each animal, each, uh, each things in the nature has some kind of low frequency. And this low frequency is decreasing the more the complexity of the, the system. So when you have atoms, it's a very high frequency, then you go to organs, uh, organs uh, it's uh, a lower frequency, you go to cell, to organs, to systems, to body. So our body, main lower frequency is quite very low compared to all the, the different parts that we have inside our body. In other words, you start with DNA frequencies. For it's everything made of DNA has high frequencies, but only big things made of DNA have low frequencies. And that distance between the low and the high, the more harmonics are down to low, that means there's more complexity, more depth. 
And that's very true of your DNA. When you get the long wave coherence in your DNA, that's when your bliss is. Hey, just, just to <coughs> let you understand a little bit easier, let, let's take some examples in the nature. It's, it's a mushroom which is growing. And you see there is some kind of wave. It's not a constant, it's not a fixed thing. And it's, well, when we are looking at it, it's more like pulses than wave. And it will introduce the, the next part of uh, what I will explain. So the, the, when you are opening an egg and have a look in, inside the egg, you will see the, f the first thing that is appearing is a heart which is beating. Oh, there it is. Oh, wow. Cool. So it's, it's a very important, the, this, uh, uh, this pulses, yeah. And, and you will see that it's a very important to understand very low cycles. So about, we are talking about frequencies, but we can also talk about rhythm. And for very low frequency, it's easier for us to, to, to talk about rhythm. And the sun has a rhythm of about five minutes. And now it's possible to, to make some record of the sound of the planet and the sound of the, of the sun. And this is the sound of the sun which has been accelerated a lot of times to allow you to hear it because it's a very, very low frequency. I hope that you can hear the sound. It seems like a heart. It does sound like a heart. Recently, there was a, a, a comet, Philae, which was one of the, of the comet, and they made a recording of the, of the sound of the comet. I, I will let you hear the sound of the comet. What do you want to do? So, pulses again. Okay? Now let's go back a little bit but in a different way, like, like Dan explained, about how waves are interacting. I've made uh, a lot of simulation trying to find the relationship between wave and pulses and try to understand what, what was happening. What is the difference between wave and pulse? Well, a wave, let's say, it's more sine. Okay? Uh -huh. Pulse is, is like this. Okay. Okay? But we will see. Uh, so Dan said, already said that you can add or multiply or add and multiply. And I will show you. I've made a lot of simulation to, just to, to see what was happening. So here I generated four waves at different frequencies. 5, 10, uh, 15, well, let's say, per plus circle, per cycle, cycle per minute or something like that. And this is the resulting wave if I add the wave. I can do the same thing, but instead of adding the wave, I multiply them. And you see, I got a different result. You will see the different, the, the same wave here, addition, here, multiplication, which is called also a time. You see with me? Yes, yes. That multiplication is recursive addition. The recursion optimized is called the ratio. So. And in fact, it's interesting because with some specific ratio, we get, instead of getting a weight, a resulting weight, we get pulses. And this is appearing in some of the harmonics in the spectrum. We will talk about a little bit about harmonics to, to understand that. And now, if we are taking golden ratio, instead of using the harmonics, we get very big pulses. Mm -hmm. so, so you see there are, there are a relationship between all these frequencies mm -hmm. with the ratio, and we get big pulses. <coughs> so, yes? What are those uh, initial frequency frequencies you're adding or multiplying are coming from? What is the source? Why is that those frequencies it's relevant? It's just a uh, computer simulation, just to, to, to show you. I took uh, all the, there is one frequency and then I multiply by uh, golden ratio and again and again and again. And this is the result of uh, wave. So maybe we can ask 
we have, we have talked about relationship between people. So what, what could be empathy? If we look at two persons which are correctly aligned with golden ratio inside, and we make them, we, we make all these waves to 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 uh, to encounter each other, interfere, and to interfere with with each other. So I made I took three waves here. Uh, with the main wave, which is five, so but, but with golden ratio, the other person is another frequency, but also inside our body with golden ratio, and we get also pulses. So when two people which are meeting, that's what you said in another way, that when two people which are correctly aligned inside their body with their correct ratio of frequency inside their body, so they are in their heart. And when two people are in their heart, they are creating things, they are creating pulses. Mm. Which is to say, concentrating the wave in the narrow pulse. Concentration. It's another way to, 